Well, g'day, curd nerds. Let me start by asking you a question. Do you make lots of cheese like I do? Do you have an abundance of whey? Are you sick of pouring it down the drain and wasting this precious resource? Then this video is perfect for you. I will be discussing 15 ways that I have used leftover whey from the cheese making process. Before we start, I need to point out that there are two types of whey. The first is sweet whey, which is a byproduct of making any rennet based type of cheese like the cheddar family, alpine cheeses, or even hard cheeses. It is normally cloudy and is perfect for all the ways with whey. However, acid whey, which is also known as sour whey, is a byproduct of the making of acid types of cheeses, such as cottage cheese, cream cheese, or strained yogurt. It is normally clear. Due to its high acid content, acid whey is unsuitable for most of these uses in this video. So with that knowledge under our belt, let's get into the 15 ways with whey. So number one is baking. You can use whey instead of buttermilk or milk in sourdough bread, leaven bread, or even pancake batter. Cakes can use whey in this method as well. Number two is whey ricotta. Making whey ricotta is a simple process. Heat your whey to 92 to 97 Celsius or 197 to 206 Fahrenheit, then add quarter cup of vinegar. And you should see the curds separate from the whey. Just be warned that if the whey is not fresh or too acidic, the curds may not form. Number three is whey smoothies. Most well-stocked kitchens have a blender or a neutral bullet or some such thing. So making whey smoothies are easy. Just add two cups of whey to a cup of fruit and add a cup of yogurt or ice cream. Add some sweetener and then blitz. It's that easy and it's easy to digest. Number four is fermenting vegetables. Because of the lactic bacteria present in the whey, it is ideal for assisting with the fermentation of vegetables such as kimchi and sauerkraut. Just add a few tablespoons of fresh whey to your ferment before you sprinkle on the salt. This adds lactic bacteria to your fermentation process and gives it a bit of a kickstart. Number five, soaking dry beans and grains. Using a whey as a liquid to rehydrate grains and beans is helpful as it helps break down the phytates and reduces the phytic acid in the grains or beans and allows micronutrients to become available during digestion. Number six is watering plants and vegetables. When whey is diluted to a ratio of one to eight, it becomes nature's miracle grow. It contains calcium, nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium. These nutrients help microbial activity in the soil and the worms love it. It is especially beneficial to citrus trees and acid loving plants like blueberries and tomatoes. It also helps prevent blossom rot on tomatoes. Number seven, feed your pets. Because whey is protein rich and low in fat, it is perfect to feed to your pets or farm animals. My doggos love a little bit of whey, but giving them too much gives them wind. My backyard chicken cannot get enough of the stuff and it helps to strengthen the eggshells due to the high levels of available calcium in the whey. It is used in Italy to add muscle mass to pigs and is used to produce the world famous Parma ham. Whey left over from the production of Parmigiano Reggiano is fed to these animals to fatten them up. Number eight, feed your compost bin. Due to the lactic bacteria still present in the fresh whey, it is ideal for adding to your compost heap or compost bin. It promotes the breakdown of your food scraps because of this microbial activity. Add enough to moisten the heap before turning it. Don't flood the compost with whey because it still needs oxygen to assist in the rotting process. Number nine, brine your cheese with whey. 
Whey can be used as a base for your brine when making feta or halloumi or other brined cheeses. To two litres of whey, add 450 grams or one pound of salt to make an 18% brine saturation. It contains enough calcium and lactic acid, so you won't have to add calcium chloride or vinegar to the brine. This prevents the cheese from going slimy during the salting process. Number 10, soups and stews. Add whey into your favorite soup or stew for extra body. I use it in my minestrone and in my goulash mixed at a ratio of one to one with stock. It has more flavor than just using the stock alone. Number 11, meat marinade. The lactic acid in whey tenderizes and breaks down the sinews of the meat. You can add herbs and spices to the marinade for more flavor and even vacuum pack the meat and the whey marinade together. This accelerates the marination process as the whey is forced into the meat under pressure. In the end, you will have a more tender steak. Number 12, fungicide on plants. Use as a fungicide spray on plants to prevent powdery mildew on cucurbits such as pumpkins, squash, cucumbers and zucchinis. It also works on broad beans or fava beans to prevent rust on their leaves. Mix the whey with equal parts of water and add half a teaspoon of olive oil and place in a spray bottle or spray pack and shake well. Spray over affected plants and repeat when necessary. Number 13, making gravy. Use as a base for gravy when you next have a roast dinner. Just add gravy powder to the desired amount of whey and pan juices for a deliciously rich roast meat gravy. It is so yummy. Number 14, make more cheese. You can use the whey to make mysost, a Norwegian brown whey cheese that is sweet, creamy and delicious. Simply add six liters or two and a half gallons of whey to a pot and simmer until most of the whey evaporates and the thick brown gooey cheese is left behind. At this stage, you can use it as a spread called prim. If you want a harder cheese, rapidly cool the my sauce and add a little cream and stir well, and then it's done. It is simply delicious. Number 15, make blonde. Thought to be introduced to Scotland by the Norse, this fermented whey drink can be easily made at home with some simple equipment. All you need is some whey, some honey and some mead yeast, and you are ready to create a delicious alcoholic beverage. Well, curd nerds, that is my ways with whey list. If you have a way that you use your way after cheese making, then feel free to leave your tip in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to be notified of more cheesy videos. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds. I've been happy to bring this video, which has been a long time in the making, to you, 15 Ways with Way. Thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.